Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. In today's video, I just want to talk about um, something that I recently noticed, and I sort of think that this might be uh, something that's a little bit more evidence that Microsoft uh, may be dying, or at least um, becoming less of a viable way to make a little bit of extra money with your photography, um, the end of some nice passive income. So what am I talking about? Well, recently I was looking at uh, some reviews of um, Microstock agencies, just curious to see what the general sentiment was in the market about um, which agencies were good, which were bad, which were, um, were submitting to. Uh, and I was thinking about it from a contributor's perspective. Uh, but what I found was uh, that there are actually reviews posted by um, potential buyers or past buyers or uh, different uh, individuals or companies that were looking to uh, obtain Microsoft photos uh, for whatever uh, brand that they were working with or whatever use that they had for them. And so I'd never actually really thought of looking at um, Microsoft sites from a buyer's perspective, uh, generally anyway, like I've looked at it from a uh, sort of a contributor perspective as far as what images might sell, what might be of interest, looking at my own photos to see um, where the trends are uh, so that I could engage uh, the marketplace better um, with my photography and make a little bit more money. But I never thought about looking at them from that, the big perspective of what, what does a contributor, or sorry, what does a buyer want from the site itself? So anyway, I started reading a lot of the comments that were um, posted uh, in uh, basically consumer review sites by photo buyers and I was actually pretty surprised and so I think what I wanted to do today was just to show you an example of a site that um, used to make me money but now is basically done as far as earnings go and it's also a site where I don't upload anymore but I thought it would be an interesting case study uh, to show you um, how uh, sentiment in the market can affect the actual sales on the site um, separately from what a photographer might be doing at a given time. So yeah, like I said, a macro view of a, of a Microsoft website. And I'm gonna jump into the computer here uh, and uh, show you that, and then uh, I'll just come back to the camera and just sort of um, provide some sort of, uh, I guess, closing, thoughts on what I think this means. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into the computer now. Okay, so here we are on a site called Site Jabber. And this site provides um, a place for uh, customers to review products. Now I have big stock photo um, uploaded here on the screen. Uh, you'll see right off the bat there are 60 reviews and if we're just looking at the star rating it's you know one and a half stars so 60 reviews may not be the best sample size in the world um, but bear with me a second and you'll see that these these reviews look um, a little bit uh, similar across uh, the comments and this is this is the sort of very quickly I want to get into the sort of crux of the matter here. And so we'll just go down to the actual reviews themselves. Um, and then you have, as with all reviews, there's always, I mean, you have to take it with a grain of salt. You know, sometimes reviews are fake, sometimes they're paid for. Um, in the online world where much as uh, many services and goods are provided online, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that's, you know, maybe not effective and so, you know, like Olympic judges, you know, let's discount the best um, review and let's discount the most critical. So uh, let's just forget the great company and let's just forget the big con for now. And uh, let's look into the, into the actual results. So here's the star ratings. Almost all the stars are one star. Um, lucky for big stock, they don't provide a zero star option, I think. Um, because uh, <laughs> you have to wonder how many of these one stars are actually zero stars. 
and there's there's very few actually that that um, go above their the one star rating. And I'm not going to necessarily drag you through this for too long, uh, but I do want to show you uh, that there, there's a trend here. So big con. Um, this is the one we've discounted, by the way. Um, big stock photo are thieves. Stay away. Here's their great company review. A uh, couple of votes. Rip off. Do not buy here. Customer service is frustratingly bad. Look elsewhere. Be careful. Horrible company. And someone says lots of European photos. That's not really a positive or negative. Warning. Worst. Oh, here's one from a contributor. Worst stock market to sell at your contributors. We'll, we'll forget that one. Scam deceptive. Read the fine print. Total scam. Scam. Charge me even when I canceled. Correct, incorrectly charged $79. Terrible customer service and a scam. Total scam. Oh, here's one where they actually got their money refunded. Beware of credit scams. Um, so basically, the gist of it is, is that if you read, and this is just, this is, you know, I don't know any of this for, for a fact. I'm just looking at reviews online. I can't say where any, whether any of this is true. Um, you know, in a way, this is just editorializing on my part. Um, but the, the general um, sense I get um, from reading some of these reviews is that people were charged uh, even though there was a free period. Um, there were people that were uh, signed up to a subscription, uh, a monthly subscription without knowing it. Uh, and then they couldn't get their money back when they found out that their card was being charged. And so these kind of practices um, are consistently noted in the uh, reviews provided by uh, the individuals that use this as a service. Now, in my view, this is a major problem. And I'm just going to now um, basically jump back uh, to the camera because this is really all I wanted to show you. Uh, just the actual reviews of a Microsoft agency made by photo buyers. Okay, so I walked you through some reviews of uh, Big Stock by buyers, former buyers for the most part. Uh, and what does that mean? I mean, there's two things. Uh, first is just from my perspective as a photographer submitting images. I mean, is that the kind of brand that I want uh, my images associated with? Uh, does it reflect on me as an individual? Probably not, given how many contrib contributors there are on these platforms. But at the same time, why would I want to sell uh, stuff that I make uh, through a company that's um, treating customers that way, if that's in fact how they're being treated, um, assuming that the, the reviews are honest? But the thing I actually wanted to talk about and the thing that I actually want to make this video or the reason why I want to make this video is because it's, it's, um, it seems to me that when you start, um, when you're a business and when you start to do these kind of scams to try to take people's money, if they're actually doing those scams, that's the sign of a business that's in, in my view, an incredible stress. Uh, when things are going well, money's coming in, you've got lots of customers, your business is expanding. I assume that you're not scamming them. Uh, I'm assuming that, that you know, you're a trustworthy um, enterprise that is uh, doing its best, let's say. Um, but when you see or you start to see a consistent pattern of uh, attempted, uh, you know, using fine print, to try to gouge, uh, being very difficult uh, in processing refunds, um, deceptive practices. These are all signs, in my view, of a business that is actually struggling to make money and is doing um, nefarious actions in a way to, in, in, a, in an attempt or a bid to survive where they actually probably shouldn't 
if it was just up to the market to decide. And so I see that as lining up very clearly or very closely with my experience with big stock, which has been a complete and utter collapse in sales uh, of images. Probably more than any of the, of the other sites has it uh, collapsed. That I went from 30, 30 to 40 a month to a uh, dollar or two a month in, in, in no time at all. And I question how much that is related to practices which are not, um, let's just say, <laughs> less than um, consumer friendly. Uh, and, and I think that, you know, if I'm right, and I may be wrong, um, because it is a guess, it's an opinion, uh, if, when you see microstock sites or other businesses uh, engaging in these kind of practices, it's, it's evidence that uh, the revenue is collapsing and um, there's a struggle to survive. And, and I think I mentioned on another video that I, I actually don't think Big Sock will survive in the long term. Um, but again, that's a guess on my part. Uh, anyway, I hope um, this was of interest. I encourage you to go check out um, these kind of consumer reviews because this might actually help you uh, select a uh, website that's worth contributing that reflects your brand and your interests and um, is working with uh, clients to build a business that you can be a part of. Uh, and that's that's sort of what I'm sort of looking at as well. Uh, anyway, hopefully I um, earned your um, subscription today. Um, uh, if not, um, maybe the next one, but hopefully you'll hit like on this one and we'll see you on the next one. All right, take care.